Hey folks, welcome back to the channel, Eric the Old Jarhead here. So, today, I wanna talk about something. I got a box to open up, but before I do, I wanna talk to you about something that I see all the time that I hope I can help you with. So, one of the big things I see on social media is where people will say, I got this many watts and I'm using that much watts and you know, watts and watts and it's all about the watts. And I have guys all the time saying, Forget the amps, just talk about the watts. Well folks, I have a case where individuals, and not just one or two, get confused as to why their 100 watt solar panels don't provide 100 watts to their small power stations. Now if you're familiar with small power stations, maybe you test them, maybe you've got more than one, maybe you've done your research, you already know the answer to that. But I suspect that most don't actually understand that what's at issue here is that they've forgotten about amps. The forgotten amp. <laughs> so folks, let me explain it to you this way. You buy yourself a small power station, like a 500 watt power station. A lot of them, not all of them, because I've seen at least one, but most of them, their charge controller for their charging input, let's call it that, because in, on the jacker it's the same input for solar panels as it is for the AC wall plug. Those particular devices are limited to 3.75 amps and actually some maybe as little as 3.5. If they're limited to 3.75 amps and they're getting 5 amps, well they're not going to give you that 5 amps. Now what does amps have to do with it? Well folks, most of these solar panels are 20 volt solar panels and five amp solar panels and 20 times five equals 100. And that is the math folks, volts times amps equals watts. And you can take watts and divide by either volts or amps to get the other one. But if you buy one of these guys, and we're gonna open this one up. This is the Nervi, and I know it looks like it says Nerves V, and later in the video, you're gonna hear me try to figure out how to say this name, but I had to ask him and it's Nervy. So if you buy one of these guys, or a Jackery, or anybody else's, chances are those panels are in short 20 volt, five amp panels. Now this one here is actually, and I had to print it just to make sure I don't miss it, but this one is a 19.8 volt panel that puts out 5.05 amps and that gives it a total of 99.99 .99 watts. So, 100 watt panel. I'm gonna show it to you today, but you're going to see that when I start testing this panel, I'm not always gonna get, well, I'm never gonna get 100 watts. Well, let me rephrase that. I'm never gonna get 100 watts when I plug it into one of these small power stations because they're limited to 3.75 amps. And if we were to do that math, let's, let's pull the calculator out. So we're gonna do 19.8 times 3.75 and that equals 74.25 watts. So if I'm only getting 75 watts, well, there's your answer. Now, I'm gonna do some other math here. 22 times 3.75 equals 82.5. Now why 22? Well. A lot of these panels are rated at 19, 19.8, 20 volts and five amps or just over five amps. But folks, the, the, the angle of the sun is gonna decide how much output the solar panel does. So it may, you might have this perfect angle and it could be hundred degrees out because guess what? Temperature also determines the efficiency of the solar panel. If it's zero degrees out, it's probably gonna put out 24 volts, <laughs> right? I mean, that's, it can put out more than it's rated for. So the first thing that I wanna tell you for all, I don't care if you have a Jackery panel, which is what I have right here. Now this, this Jackery panel, I bought myself, oh, a year ago probably, perhaps a little longer, and I bought it for my little Jackery. I paid for that myself. That's a $300 panel, it's a foldable solar panel and it comes with a DIN plug-in for the Jackery. And you can get adapters for them so that you can plug them in, like for example, my Go Neo, which I did do that. But I bought it to charge up that Jackery. And to be honest, because I've been running solar power for 14, 14 years, 14 years, I didn't worry about how many watts were coming into my Jackery because I know if the angle's wrong, if there's a little bit of clouds, if it's not perfect, if it's too hot, too cold, whatever, it's gonna be different. So I didn't 
really paid any attention to it. But now that I've got to test one, I'm going to have to pay attention to what we actually get. Well, we're going to do that. Now, I have to tell you, before I open this up, when I got the box, I thought, there's a 100 watt solar panel in here? Really? Okay, but I just pulled out my, my Jackery. And folks, it would not fit in this box. So, let's find out what the deal is with this Nervi. And, and it's not Nurs V I Y or Nurs V, it's Nervi. So, like N U R V E E. Let's check it out. And, oh, look, oh, well, that's interesting. And I gotta tell you, I looked up this panel online and dollar for dollar, if this panel is any good, which we're gonna find out, it's a lot cheaper than that Jackery. And I know Jackery is kind of like the Walt or Steel or John Deere or Jack Daniels. They love their name. They're gonna take their name and they are going to sell their name just as much as the product that they made to sell you. Aha, there you go. This is, this is what's going on here, folks. Look at that. So this is a four-fold, quad-fold, quad-fold panel versus the Jackery, which is a single-fold panel. And there's magnets here. Look at that. I just realized that. So there's little magnets to hold that together. That's interesting. This is your usual support, but I just noticed something. This little guy here, let's have a look at this because it's got a little strap on the back. <laughs> That's adjustable, folks. I wonder if the Jackery is, is adjustable because honestly, I've never checked. So, you know, you might think, well, you just take the panel and lay it on the ground. Okay, that's, that's st more straight up, okay. But you don't. There is not on the Jackery. That's interesting. All right, so we've got a foldable solar panel, quad fold, we'll call it. I did look it up. It is a monocrystalline panel, so it's typical, standard, right? 100 watt panel, basically 20 volts by uh, five amps with an open circuit voltage of 23.8. So in theory, that means if you just take the leads, plug your voltmeter in there, you should get a maximum of 23.8 volts, as long as it's not freezing out. It comes, and this is cool, folks, comes with MC4 connectors. So, the MC4 is the industry standard for solar panels. Simple MC4 connections. I like this, folks, because you can get 50 foot, 100 foot, 25 foot MC4 connectorized 10 gauge cable to run to a charge controller. So if you were gonna take something like this and hang it on the side of your cabin, because of these MC4s, which are a waterproof connector, you can just plug it into a cable that runs into the cabin and boom, you're good to go. Okay, it comes with a little pigtail that has an Anderson plug. That's that guy right there. It's got an XD60 and it has the DC7909, which that one I think is the same as what the Jackery has or the Go Neo. I can't remember. You may need adapters for those um, for different size connectors like the eight millimeter or whatever. I can't remember which one this one is. I'd have to look it up. If you know offhand right away, put it in the comments. But I really like that it comes with this. Now, the Jackery does not. The Jackery has one cable with the DC type connector on the end. And that is the same as the Nervi, that's the DC7909. This one is, I believe, the eight millimeter right here. And that I need for my little Go Neo, okay? So that's why it's on there. Now, the one thing that the Jackery has that the Nervi does not have, you'll notice I have a USB cable. That is actually a 100 watt cable and some extra connectors. The Jackery does have a USB port here. So it's got some type of controller that will take the voltage off the Jackery, which is also a 20 volt panel, 
and convert it to both USB-C and USB-A voltages and amperages. So that is a nice feature of the Jackery. Is it worth <laughs> almost $200? Yeah, no. I mean, I, I'm just gonna tell you that right off because I can buy a charge controller. I can, I can, I can put an inverter. I can do all kinds of things. So um, do I wanna pay that much extra for just a USB charger? No, nah, not really. Now, does, the, does this panel work? It does. Now, it does say uh, this is the Solar Sega 100, uh, peak power 100 watts, 23% efficiency, 18 volts and 5.55 amps. So, the Jackery is a 5.55 amp panel. Folks, you, you can only use 3.75 amps of that on the Jackery 550. You could use it all probably on the Jackery 1000 or 1500, but you can't on the little 550s. This one at five amps is in the same boat. That could be a good thing if you're using an MPPT charge controller, which I do have to test this with. Then you can take that 20 or 19, whatever volts it has, and that charge controller can take all of that and convert it to the 14.6 or whatever it needs, or 14.4 for like a LifePo 4 battery, which I happen to have two right in front of me. That's what I looked at when I said 14.4 and 14.6. All right, so, oh, that goes over here. Uh, let me put that back, folks. All right. All right. We're going to take this and we're going to go plug it into both a Jackery 550 and to a Go Neo 604 which if you've ever seen my Jeep channel, I compared those on my Jeep channel. The Jackery is hands down a better power station, in my opinion, than the Go Neo 604. So the Go Neo, not the greatest, but I'm going to use this to both power the Go Neo and to power the, um, the Jackery. And we're gonna see whether or not it'll actually put out at least 72 to 75 volts because honestly, it's all you're really gonna get, especially if you're sitting around 19 volts and, and over five amps, right? Or 19.8 volts and five amps. It's, it's, it's not gonna give you that much. I do wanna comment on the physical size. I like this size. I like it more than this one. So if you, well, if you know, you know. <laughs> I like to go camping. I like to take my Jeep and go places with my rooftop tent and soon an off-road, what I'm gonna call my overlanding canoe trailer. And I like to do that and you got I only have a two-door Jeep and so I gotta pack everything in there. This is a much smaller package. I mean, it's thin, it's compact. It's a much smaller package than the Jackery. So I really like that. I like the pigtail that's got all three different connectors on the end. Plus you can use the MC4 connector too. So if you wanna plug in a charge controller that's got MC4s on the end, you just plug it into that. And if you notice in my red shirt today, is one of my shirts. So, although I will tell you, I made the logo up here bigger. So if you ever go check the shirts out, you're gonna see that those are bigger. So, all right, we're gonna take this panel, we're gonna go outside, we're gonna plug it in, and we're gonna give it a try. And I'll be honest with you folks, actually I did it already. And so you'll notice I'm not wearing the same shirt. <laughs> so let me show you what I saw, what I found out. Let's go outside, let's take a look. Jackery's at 72 watts. And there's V, or however you pronounce it, 76. Different angles though. I'm using the stock angle. Because of the style here, it makes it difficult to get it perfectly flat. We're up to 62, 63. It's showing 62, 63, right there, 63 is the output, okay? So that's about the highest I've got it so far setting here. And we plug that in, 74. Oh, look at that. So, so far, folks, the NERS V, NERS VIY foldable is putting out 74 watts right now. That guy, the Jackery, 
the most I got to was 72 um, in its angles. So I could probably pull this back more like the, the, the other one. 64, okay. All right, folks. Well, that new panel, which is, I want to say right now they're on sale for about $100 less than the Jackery. I will put the costs down below. Bear in mind, I'm not affiliated with Jackery, but the new foldable panel, it's about $100 cheaper. And it's actually putting out more power than my Jackery. So far, so good. I'm liking it. Money savings, smaller profile when you pack it up. And if you're an off-roader like me, you do a little overlanding, you do some camping, and you want a smaller panel to put away, well, this newer panel folds up better than the Jackery. We're gonna go back in the shop. Well, folks, there you have it. The Nervy versus the Jackery. Honestly, the, the Nervy put out the same power the Jackery did. So both panels performed the same way. I didn't see any real differences. I did fiddle fart around with them and try to move the panels to catch more sunlight, but I wasn't checking voltages with a multimeter at the time. My guess is I was actually putting out, you know, just the voltage and amperage com combination. I was only gonna let me get 72 watts from them. I did at one point see 75 or 76 with the Nervi. And that's one of the things that I really wanna talk about. Now, amps are important, so don't ever forget about amps, right? Volts times amps equals watts. Watts divided by one of the other two equals the other one, okay? So if you've got a 12 volt panel at 10 amps, well, uh, if it's actually 12 volts and it's actually 10 amps, that's 120 watts. Simple math. But 12 volt panels often are not 12 volts, okay? So my 12 volt panels up at the cabin, they put out over 18 volts and over 11 amps because you, you need that in order to charge a 12 volt battery, right? You need to be able to get in that 14 and a half volt range after the panels have collected sunlight and sent it to a charge controller that will then adjust it you know, to the correct voltage for the battery and, and provide the amperage necessary to charge up the battery at the correct voltage. So it's really important to know that. But the other thing, folks, is if you buy a solar panel, a 100-watt solar panel, and you only get 70 watts out of it, well, m maybe it's the angle of the panel. Maybe the sky's a little hazy. You know, maybe there's something shading a portion of the panel. I mean, there are lots of different reasons that a panel is going to perform as well as it says it should. I've actually gotten more wattage out of panels than they're rated for. But that was in the wintertime when it was super cold, super bright, super sunny, super blue sky. All things line up perfectly and you're going to get maximum wattage out of them. But manufacturers rate them kind of like a... It's like, well, we know we can get this much out of them probably gonna get 10% more than that under the right conditions. I mean, I would guess that that's probably what they do. They know they can get this out of them at a certain temperature and all that kind of stuff. It's just like in a previous video, I talked about cycle life of batteries. Well, it's the same thing. Manufacturer says, oh, I can get this many cycles. Well, it's in a controlled environment, same with the panels. So we didn't get 100 watts. I knew we wouldn't because it's all about the amps, it's all about the amps, it's all about the amps, I hate to be a broken record. And your angle to the sun's gotta be right. Now when I filmed that, I didn't know that I could adjust the back of this nervy panel, I really like that. So I'm gonna tell you, I saw this panel for $100 less than the Jackery, and briefly, I don't know if it's still there, I actually saw it for about $125 less than the Jackery. So that's pretty impressive. It puts out the same power, it's more compact, it comes with MC4 connectors instead of just the DC type connector, but it also has that connector as well as an Anderson plug and um, yeah, whatever, it's got three on the pigtail plus the MC4s. So all in all, for the money, if it were me, I'm buying this panel, not a Jackery. Now obviously, full disclosure, I didn't have to buy the panel, Nervy sent me that panel to try out but I'm really impressed with it. And due to the lack of space that it takes up in my Jeep, that's gonna be my go-to panel. Anyway, folks, there you have it. If I were gonna buy one of these today, I would absolutely buy the Nervy. I like the size. 
Its output is the same. I like the adjustability. I like the connectors. It doesn't have the USB ports. Big whoop de doo da. My Jackery does. So does my GoNeo. In any case, that's it for today's video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget your amps. Check that Nervy out. I think you might find you'll like it. I certainly do. Y'all have a great day. The old jar head out. It's all about the amps. It's all about the amps. <laughs>